What is up, people? Mr. Fowley here bringing you another video. Welcome to the coin game. So, we are actually going to start a brand new playthrough. First, we will select. We're going to go with the basic outfit. Survival. Brand new playthrough of the game. Let's go. In survival, there is no money game. You cannot collect free money. And you have day one. Let's see what you got, kid. We're waking up. You have a health meter. You have an energy meter. You start off with $2.50. And you have a curfew. You got 16 hours that count down fairly quickly. We're on day zero. It's 7 in the morning. Okay, let is, let's check our watch. We have a bunch of text messages. Okay, this doesn't work on a controller right now. Devoited, welcome to the coin game. Hello, thank you for purchasing the coin game. I am extremely grateful for your support and look forward to being your new favorite time waster. You can always refer to this menu for all your received messages and info about the current game. Below this message, you will find a small helper message that explains a little about how to use the player control and machines. If you enjoy the game, please consider giving it a positive review on the Steam Store page and help further the development of the coin game through early access development. I think that's it, yeah. <coughs> also, from Devoited. Smartwatch tutorial and info. Um, I'm not going to read this. This one um, you can read when you play. Or you can read right now if you pause the video. There you go. Islandville News. Newspaper delivery tutorial and info. You can earn some extra money by delivering papers to the good people of Islandville. Just go to the newspaper van located by your house which is the work boot on the minimap every day and you will see more stacks of papers for you to deliver to all the red mailboxes of the island. You will get a dollar fifty per paper plus one rubber band and if you deliver all the papers to all of the boxes you will get a nice bonus payment. This job is available every day to help you get some money going. The papers being delivered is not mandatory so it's up to you if you want to deliver them or not. Barry's Pawn Shop. Got extra prize, prizes or junk? Come on down to Barry's Pawn Shop. Located at the flashing yellow light on the main highway. We'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. We also have a vending machine for your hungry whippersnappers. Take the bus stop, number five, and we will. We are right across the street. Open 24 hours. Mom, don't forget your curfew. Make sure you are eating and drinking enough and don't forget to be home before your curfew tonight. I hope you win lots of junk and stuff, or whatever the cool kids call it nowadays. Please don't make Nanny Bot come looking for you again. She is getting pretty rusty. Love ya, Mom. The Jones Family, looking for a babysitter. We are looking for a babysitter to help us with the little ones. It is easy work and we pay well. If you would like to help us out and earn some extra money, just come to the front door of the house on the map closest to the paper route stand. We are also located on the map as a boot icon close to the newspaper stand. Thank you. Jerry, golf cart for sale. Hey little one, I heard you might be looking for some wheels. I have a golf cart for sale in my lot if you are interested. I also have a bunch of good food for you and your friends to stay healthy with. See you around. Tell your folks I said hi, Jerry. Barry personal phone. Need my lawn mode. Hey, it's Barry. I'm looking to get my lawn mode any day. 
I have a mower sitting outside the garage if you need some extra cash. Stop on by and some earn some l loot if you need some. I'll pay you right when you are finished. I'm across from the Jones family. I have a white fence around the yard. Don't mind the dog. He barks a lot. Like a lot. But he is friendly. He even plays fetch. Don't throw grass on Lambeau. Barry. And that's all the text messages you get. Inventory is completely empty. These are the stats. Um, from, I guess, yeah, all time, as in... Yeah, I'm confused about that one. Total money, one, zero. Total money spent, zero. Total tickets, one, sixty-six thousand eight hundred and eighty. So, the total tickets, one, goes by every game you have... But the total money does not. That's a little bit confusing. Length of total game time. That, that just goes up real fast. Mokiwa. <laughs> you will probably consistently hear my cat meowing through my uh, playthrough of this game. That is Moki. M-O-O-K-I-E. You should probably know that because... You will be hearing her a lot, I imagine. Carney rides total 5. Carney games total 204. It's a big difference. And this is our current. As you can see here, this is our current. 70 health, 43 energy. Curfew is going down. We have $2.50. Okay. Oops. This is the map. I forgot I can use the zoom. But you gotta use this in order to move it. Can't use I can't use the arrow key at all for some reason. It doesn't want to. Yeah. I do not know why. I can't use the controller to move the map either, so anyway. Let's get started, shall we? I'm using my controller for most of it. Anyway, if you would like some training, look at that, my name is on there, that is so cool. Um, if you'd like some training with Claw Machine, you actually have this f that you can play for free. I don't know why I just did that. Oops, hold on. Let me get used to the controller setting. Uh, controller. Let's see. Oh. By the way, if you hear like wind or a fan or like something, that's my computer fan. It's it's pretty loud. And you know it you know it's funny. You see how it keeps saying that on the bottom of the screen to pick it up and stuff. You actually can. <laughs> Which is really funny. I don't think you can actually pick up one of these cans. Um, anyway, yeah, you, you literally can... Pick it up straight through the gra glass, which is so funny, because he has the option, oops, to open the door, so that you can put stuff in here, yet you can actually pick stuff up through the door, so that's, it's really funny. Anyway, let me, yeah, I don't know how to scroll through with the controller. Let's drop all these because I don't want the free stuff from in here. So we're going to... How do I... Let me see. Aha. Put them in. Another cool thing you can actually do is shut that. Take this and put it in through the prize chute. And it'll pop right up. 
like so. So that's cool. Anyway, it looks like I am good at winning things because I have three trophies and a first place in something. I don't know. Got a guitar. Fireworks advertisement. Magic salt lamp. All of your wildest dreams will come true if you own this. Okay, that's... Odd. Jerry's Gas and Go. Get something and go. Scratch Lottos, soda and snacks, fuel. Good company. Located on Main Street. Your neighborhood friendly friend. Island Time Amusements. Traveling Carnival. What does that say? Hold on, let me see. Coming to the Island Amusement Pi Pier Park. Unsafe rides, rigged games, and deep fried cheesy poofs. That's funny. That's actually funny. By the way, you also get a gun that shoots rubber bands. So that's cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shut the light off. Isn't that cool looking? Hold on. Now it actu I actually want to try this with the light off. It looks cool. I don't know why I did that. Should we go for the Twizzler? Can you actually pick it up? Or is it too big? Because I think it's too big. Oof. I think it is too big for the claw to pick up. Ooh, this is the best chance right here. Oh. <laughs> nope. But we will move it back. There we go. Cool. Now let's go. It's very dark. We got a TV. That actually has advertisements and the weather on here. So that's pretty cool. We got some fish. You see that number? That's the percentage of food they have. You don't want it to go down to zero. That includes this one. It's already at 85. Because we have another pet in here, and you will see him at some point. You can actually open up doors. We have a bathroom that you can do absolutely nothing in here but we do have it there he is there's our not duck it says angel duck but but you're not a duck you're a goose aren't you at least I'm pretty sure he's a goose it looks like a goose to me but he sounds like a duck, so that's weird. Maybe it is a duck, but I've never seen a duck like that. I've seen goose like that, but I've not seen a duck like that. I mean, goose similar to that. Not of that exact design, but pretty sure it's still goose. Microwave can open and close. Because we actually have freezer 
TV dinners that you do not take out of the cardboard. You just stick it inside. Boom. Now, what you want to do before you leave the house is open the cola and take at least two. But I'm going to grab three because of what I'm going to be doing today, which is actually our curfew is going down pretty fast, so I gotta hurry now. Okay, grab the extra um, rubber bands, even though you will never need them if you follow uh, what I do. Grab the oh, I mean open those, not not just grab them. You gotta open them. There we go. Um, grab the first aid and the uh, vitamins. We should be good. So now we can eat the TV dinner. Boom. 50 energy and 25 health. Why do I keep doing that? There you go. So we have 50 health, 64 energy. Now, since we have 50 health, we can instantly use the um, band-aids because it heals 50. Boom, 50 health and it uses up five energy to use that. But there we go, we are good to go. We have two things of uh, swan goose food. So you're a swan goose? Or just a goose? I don't even know. Because he looks like a goose. He looks like a goose. But he kind of looks like a swan at the same time. I don't know. And uh, fish food. So we are good for now. Anyway, let's go. This is our garage over here. We have nothing here right now that that's on the shelf, but you can when we win stuff that we can't that we're not gonna sell, we can put them up on the shelf. And we can put our drinks in here. Here is a full sized map of everything. But I pretty much know where everything is now. I'll probably still forget a little bit. Oops. Oops. There we go. Let's go. So we are a little bit behind schedule. So I got to hurry. <sighs> okay. First thing I'm going to do is not run into that car. Okay. How do I get off? There we go. First thing we are going to do, first thing I am going to do is the children. I said that very badly. Babysit the children. Um, what you want to do is grab them as quickly as possible, and there we go again. I, yeah, uh, we're just going to leave that alone. Um, because they're going to start throwing toys everywhere, so you want to stop them. Wait until they actually throw the toy, because sometimes it'll glitch if they have a toy um, when you grab them and stick them in their charging crib since they are robots after all and you can run always run okay thank you for throwing that you're going to be charged now once they enter the charging station they cannot leave it so they will not bother anymore there we go make sure that they actually lock in also check the floor make sure it's not dirty if it's not dirty shut the light off shut the door there's a toy over here next thing you're gonna wanna do is scour the house for toys 
stick it in the toy chest. Oops. Drag each thing in the toy chest. And yeah, the first day or two, you want to do these uh, jobs so that you have enough for the arcade. And then, you shouldn't ever have to do it again after the first couple days of jobs, provided you earn enough prizes to make profits off your winnings. Now, technically speaking, you can actually take food from the fridge or from the counter here, but I don't do that because, technically speaking, in the real world, if you're not given permission, that's stealing. Yeah, you're babysitting, but technically, they didn't give me permission to eat their food. So I'm not going to do it, just because. I think that's the last one. Apparently it's not the last one. Where is the last toy? Aha! That throws the flash that you're trying to like swat with the flashlight when you do that. Okay, then you grab the mop and you just run around every black spot you see. And yes, there will be an extra toy. Do not put it away. As soon as that check mark goes away, that's it. Leave it alone. Because I had a glitch where, um, I came back the next day to babysit and toys did not spawn again but it still told me to put toys away and since no toys spawned I couldn't put it away and I did not get paid for the job even though I did everything else yeah it's very dark over here so sometimes you won't see the dirt so just take out your flashlight afterwards to make sure. There we go. Boom. $20. And I, I like to just set it up. Make it a little bit realistic. It is kind of like a simulator game. Look at this. I mean, it's very much a simulator game. I mean, you you, ha you can cook food in the microwave. So, yeah, I treat it like a simulator game. Role-playing simulator game, that is. Okay, next thing you want to do, go directly across the street. And park in the garage next to the Lamborghini that will go off if you get too close. That actually scared me the first time because I did not realize. By the way, you can shut that. You don't have to shut it though. There's the dog that he was telling you about. Telling us about. He does bark and chase you. But he also plays fetch. So you can take his ball Let's go over to him. And he'll pick it up and then drop it to you. So, and you can just throw... Oops, I did that wrong. You can throw it. Go. You can really throw it, too. I don't want to lose it, but if you... Okay, the, the controller doesn't go that far. Let me do it with the mouse.
Where'd it go? Oh, shoot. It hit him. There it goes. Yeah, if you're going to throw the ball, use the mouse because the controller does not go fast enough. Okay. So, you can take your ball, put it in your bed. Okay. We're going to mow the lawn now. You can uh, stop following me. Okay. First, make sure your energy is up high enough. Because this is going to take a lot of energy. Pick up your trash, too. You don't have to, but you know. Simulation. Here we go. He'll run away after you start. And you actually do mow the grass. And it takes a bit of time. It is it is very realistic, you will see. It is a big lawn. And your health and energy will drop very quickly when mowing the lawn, just like in real life. <laughs> Nobody likes mowing the lawn with a push mower. That's all I've ever had. I've never had a rotting lawn mower in my entire life. Never driven one. Nothing. But the self-propelling ones I've, I've uh, used for a year and a half, two years, something like that. Those are nice, but you don't get as much exercise from it. So, if you want exercise, don't get a self-propelling lawnmower. Look at how realistic this is. You actually have to go through every part. Thankfully, not every freaking blade of grass. It's like... It will cut uh, somewhat to the sides of the mower at the same time. So it's not exact, thankfully. It would be cool if you could somehow upgrade to a rideable lawn mower. Um. I know it's not your mower, but like maybe get paid a little bit extra because you're using your own personal riding lawn mower. So you're not wearing, putting wear and tear on his mower. So he'll give you a tiny bit extra for using your own lawn mower that you bought. The riding lawn mower. Something. I don't know. And it would make this go a little bit faster because this actually does take a little bit of time to finish. Okay, this side's done. Now we gotta go to this side. Uh-oh, it's his ball. Good thing you can't actually run it over. There is a lot of lawn to mow. It's fun to do at first, but you don't want to do it at too many times. It's, it's very time consuming, for sure. But that's okay. It's a simulation game. You you can't not have it. You know, it's fun. It's cool. We're almost done. And 
we still have one more job to do. I hope we have enough time. I think that's everything. I don't think I missed any. Now we actually have to go to the backyard. Backyard's not as bad. It's pretty straightforward back here. But it does take a bit of time. And it is worth it for the for the first day or two to do. I don't remember how much exactly. I think it's fifty bucks. I think. Maybe it's thirty. I don't really remember right now. We'll find out in a second. Almost. Only a little bit on that side. I would have fast forwarded this. And if I have to do it again, I will. But I just wanted to show you guys how it is when you do it in full. It can be a little bit relaxing, too, to do this. Sometimes. And then the, yeah, there's a tiny bit of grass on the side of the house. Then you can't turn around, so you actually have to back up. Ooh. stuck job incomplete uh oh oh shoot you know what I am about to lose all of my energy where's the can of soda there it is That was actually pretty lucky. Grab it. Okay, why is it saying that we, I didn't complete it? I don't see any more grass left. What did I not complete? What did I not complete? Uh-oh. There's 
it somewhere around a corner? There it is. He's chasing me. Let's get him. Let's get him. No, I'm kidding. I am kidding. Boom. 50 bucks. There we go. Okay, before we go, I'm going to take both of these. How did you even get here? I shut the door. I don't know how he got out. Come over here. Okay, he can just walk the dog. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to deal with you. Go away. Oh, by the way, the uh, the creator actually put this on the door if you go back to the babysitter house on the same day. Dear babysitter, we don't need a babysitter at this time. Please check back later. Thank you, the Jones family. I thought that was cool. Anyway, we only have a short period of time to do the final job, and that is newspaper delivery. So, get off. We have nine spaces. Boom. Let's go. First area is down the road. Right here. Get off the bike. There we go. Now you just click it and try to shove it in. There you go. Boom. So you actually get $2 per delivery instead of $1.50 like the text message said. But that's cool. It's it's better that way. $2 each is, is better. Uh-oh. Go in. In. There you go. Then you make a stop back at the newspaper place. <laughs> what am I doing right now? Get off, please. Um, so what I'm going to do is drop my cans because I'm not going to have enough for all the newspapers. I'm going to put them in his van. Okay, I can't put them in his van. Never mind. I'm going to put them underneath 
Okay, I can't put them underneath either. They're just going to stay in the air. That way it's technically not littering because you didn't put them on the ground. You just stuck them in the air. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I want to put them in the air. There we go. There's two in the air. One more. Come on. There we go. See? Technically, it's not littering. It's not touching the ground. Okay. Pick up. Okay. There's ten newspapers that I'm holding. There's one. Any re any mailbox that's red is the ones you didn't deliver to yet. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. We only have four and a half hours to do this, and it, the time goes very fast. First house is to deliver to your own house. Shoot. There you go. That is the go-kart, I mean the golf cart that's for sale. I think it's $850. So we have a ways to go. That's okay though. Definitely don't want to be able to afford it within the first few days. That's not fair. Well, I mean, it can be if you're good. Come on. There you go. Get off. Next newspaper. Boom. Perfect. Now, this one. How did I do that? Oh, that's how you flip it. You go up. Okay, cool. I didn't know that you can flip it. There you go. I thought I needed to use the mouse to be able to change tabs. Well, there we go. I figured something out I did not know. Let's shove it in. There you go. This is Barry's Pawn Shop. We don't have anything to pawn. But a good idea to do is to check the garbage can. Wait, wait, wait. Grab. Bus pass! Okay, so if I ever wanted to take the bus, I can. But I never take the bus, so that's okay. Um, let's actually show you guys the bullies here. These are thugs. That if you get too close, they will try to beat you up. That's what your uh, rubber band gun is for. You shoot them until they run away. That's Barry, by the way. That's the owner of this place. For some reason, he never does anything about these guys. There you go. Boom. So that'll make them stop coming after you. Look at the glow sticks everywhere. That you can pick up. Okay. Hold on. Pick it up. Pick it up. And there would be stuff in here too that you can also pick up. You cannot pick up trash, but you can pick up that stuff. I think there's another glow stick in here. Oh no, it's a scratch card that is not scratched off yet. 
Look at that. Eight dollars that I just won. Cool. We'll pick that up. And then we'll make a very quick, and it needs to be very quick, stop inside his pawn shop to actually sell that stuff that I've picked up. Is that a can that I can drink? I think so. Yeah, I can drink it. Gives me five extra health, too. Which is good, because my health is only 23, and I have no more food that will help my health to go up. Okay, so it should be $2.50. Yep. Let's grab our bike and keep going. Yeah, sometimes the time will, will mess up a little bit. You notice how it said 2.01, and then it went to 2.59. Yeah, it, it'll mess up a little bit. There's the arcade. You can check the garbage cans and stuff here, but I don't think we have enough time. Actually, I think we actually do have enough time, to be honest. We only have five newspapers left to deliver. Although, I think I passed a mailbox so we'll have to get that on the way back let me let me see oh I did not pass a mailbox okay cool yeah let's let's check the arcade trash cans since we're here I'm pretty sure I have enough time by the way something that I have not done yet and that's a bad idea save the game save it constantly because like oh frick oh my god what just happened continue holy crap I thought I messed it up and was gonna have to start all over save the game constantly because it is still an early access game you never know save it twice just to make sure sometimes there you go because you, you, you never know you know it's it's one creator can only do so much okay there's nothing in that trash can eat what is it jerky nice I got lucky with that one normally you don't get that lucky to find jerky Check the roof. An unscratched $25 card. Let's see how lucky we actually can get. $12.50. Okay. If we bought it, it wouldn't have been worth it, but we didn't buy it, so that was worth it. We are now over $100. I think this is everything that we're going to find up here. So let's hurry. We got two hours. You can check this dumpster here for anything extra. I fell. Grab that. Oop grab that there we go anything else in here I don't think I can pick anything else up I might be able to <sighs> I'm pretty sure I'm stuck there we go I got out thankfully
We have to hurry. Okay. Because these two hours go very freaking fast. Boom. Got it. See? It's already one hour fifty-two. Okay, first mailbox. On this road, there's four. There you go. Next one's right here. Okay. There you go. Perfect. He just honk at me. This one's a little bit hard to see. Thank you, car. There you go. One more. One more, and then we head home. By the way, there is a fireworks stand here. Eventually, when we have enough money to, to waste, we will buy some fireworks and try it out. I have never done that, actually, in the game yet, so it would be my first time seeing them. Okay, last one. $15 bonus. Nice. We're at $134.50. Pretty cool stuff. By the way, you have to stay out of the road um, if you know a car is coming because they can actually damage you if they hit you. It's a realistic concept. Since we're here, I think I have enough time, I hope. This is an actual store. I need some band-aids. Band-aids is the best way to get your health back. So I'm just grabbing a bunch of them. That should be enough, especially since I do not have enough time to keep looking. $25 for Band-Aids. What's cool about this is if you don't actually open the bag, I don't know why I just did. Um, if you just accept the bag the way that I'm doing right now by, by t putting them in your inventory, it only takes up one inventory space. So if you buy a whole bunch of stuff at the store and you do not open the bag, it only takes up one inventory space no matter how much stuff you just bought so it's very very nice you can do a big shopping trip and you're fine okay we have fifty minutes to get home which is really like two minutes in, in real time But we should be good because our house is right here. Okay. Perfect. We made it home. With 40 minutes to spare. Before you go to bed, check the numbers. The fish tank goes down a lot slower than your pet goose or whatever he is, swan, whatever. 
make sure he's fed enough. If it's less than 50, feed it because that counts as 50 food. It'll go up by 50 and he'll eat right away, which is cool. Anyway, we're going to go to bed. Do not do much um, to your health when it's getting close to the end of the day unless you absolutely need it because when you sleep, your health will increase. Same thing with your energy. Don't do anything with the energy either because your energy will go down. One day completed. Health bonus for sleeping. See, my health, your energy will immediately go down to uh, 60. I think that's constant. I don't think that ever changes. I think it's always 60. But there we go. We ended the day with $109.50 after those band-aids. So that's pretty cool. And we're going to end it here. Thank I think we're going to end it like that. Like each day will be a separate video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, what I'm going to try to do is get to day f uh, 100 because that is a steam achievement that almost nobody has done I got to day what was it day 5 I think and it said something like 2.1% of people who own this game have completed this achievement and that's at day 5 could you imagine day 100? There's probably only like less than 10 people had, that have done it so far. Who knows? I don't know how many, but we're going to find out, see what that percentage says. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on day one, technically, because that was day zero. So I'll see you on day one. Thanks for watching. And I think we're going to go to the arcade. I think I think we're going to start with the arcade. I don't think we need to do the jobs anymore. Because I know what to do. I know, I know what, how I can make some money. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.